The animal kingdom has forever been a source of inspiration for scientists and engineers. Like that time Leonardo da Vinci designed an actual Batmobile. The same goes for our favorite animal, the Conus lupus familiaris, also known as doggo, or dog for short. As well as being by our side for thousands of years, helping us search, herd, live, and stay entertained on the internet, dogs are now helping us improve the agility of robots. Creating mechanical mutts is nothing new, but recent advances in robotics research take us one exciting step closer to four-legged robots moving more like their canine counterparts. So, how do you train a robot to move with dog-like agility? Here's Ken Kalawertz, a research scientist from Google DeepMind's robotics team. We realized uh, agility is a vaguely defined concept and it means something different to everyone. Which is why Ken and other researchers have developed a universal benchmark called Barkour. Inspired by dog agility competitions, the benchmark tests a variety of mobility skills within a limited time frame. While our goal was not to compare against dogs, we, we worked with Zola and Evie to uh, check our numbers. She did it two seconds faster when uh, her reward was a shrimp at the end compared to like a normal dog treat. Alongside the benchmark, the team built a custom robot to establish an initial baseline. Reinforcement learning was used to train three skills in simulation. Walking in multiple directions, maneuvering a slope, and jumping. These were then combined into a single transformer-based locomotion policy. Once the policies are distilled into transformer-based locomotion policy, you don't have to tell the robot which obstacle is next. Depending on what it perceives in the environment, it, the robot can decide to transition to jumping over a gap or climbing the A-frame. Along with the Barkour benchmark, this project is a demonstration of how a robot can be taught complex agility skills through simulation training data and then exhibit them in a more natural, quantifiable way. It's a useful step toward creating helpful, assistive robots that work in service of humans. For example, it could completely transform the way we use robotics in fields like search and rescue. As the team continues to understand the opportunities and challenges of combining artificial intelligence with robotics, one thing is certain. The animal kingdom continues to be a rich source of inspiration for research and innovation. Click the link to find out more.